How you doing? I'm Jimmy Turncoat McDougal. I've been in Canada a while now, but there was a time when I was not so versed in its lame-ass ways. I'm confused. I thought Canada was a state, like Iowa, or South America. It's a separate country attached to the top of America. Like a bad toupee. Or a brain tumor. Hey, gang, I asked the mess hall to prepare some authentic Canadian cuisine in anticipation of our naturalization. Ew! This is a French-Canadian dish. It's French fries, cheese curds, and... Whoa, did you say cheese turds? Curds, like curds and whey in Little Miss Muffet. I don't care who she is. She just murdered them French fries. And then someone blew a load all over them. What's the brown stuff? Looks like crap. Do they eat crap in Canada? They do not eat crap in Canada. So what do them Frenchies call this stuff? Uh, actually, it doesn't matter what it's called. Sure it does. Let's hear it. I don't want to say. Petey, you can't just roll out shit covered cheese fries and hold out on the name. Fine, it's called poutine. What was that? Uh, poutine. All right, it's called poutine. <laughs> <laughs> I rest my case. But it ain't all bad up here. They got this fluffy, delicious taste sensation called a beaver tail. Thanks, Petey. My pleasure. Boy, those sure went fast. I'm all over it. Get the maple syrup. We'll be licking tail and eating beaver in no time. Now that we live here in vagina, if you think we're above making a few obvious beaver jokes, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds will say they helped that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. He's a big city lawyer. He's a West Coast beachcomber. Along with their wacky special needs canine, they're two men and half a dog. That looks terrible. Is it me? Or is everything up here a crappy imitation of stuff they do better in the States? God swallow, Jimmy. Our culture is as strong as a California redwood. Uh, a BC redwood. <laughs> Here's a prime example, the Canadian Football League, a true original. Adding Canadian doesn't make it original, it just makes it suck. Well, Cheech seems to like it. Hey, there's one of Ryder Nation's more dedicated fans. I wonder if this guy could be any more green. Yes, yes he can, folks. Ooh. Hey, Jimmy! What are you doing? You're going to Canuck football games behind my back? I go to games, I go to rub and tugs, I lead a rich and varied life, Jimbo. It's like Invasion of the Body Snatchers. You're one of them, a Canadian. But it's great. Three downs instead of four, bigger field, faster, more exciting game. You're just jealous, because I'm assimilating better than you. Fine, I'll give it a shot. Can't be worse than Canadian TV. <laughs> What the f is a great cup? I don't know why they picked Petey to work at the TV station. Don't they want someone beautiful on camera? I'm just observing for my elective credit. I'm not actually on camera. Aw, oh, too bad, said no one but me just now. And I can't remember why. Besides, ladies love journalists. Hopefully, they love guys who sit near them as well. I don't need to tell anyone with a pulse that this weekend, Regina is hosting the Grey Cup. That's the football championship named after the fourth Earl of Grey. No one gives a sh**. Due to Sarah McLaughlin harshing everyone's buzz at last year's game, Sunday's halftime show will be Hair Metal God's Snake Hammer. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Call in now and sing your favorite Snake Hammer song for a chance to go to the game and meet the band. Awesome! <laughs> Nine, one, one. Nine, one, one, what's your emergency? I need snake hammer tickets! Great game, Bubba. We allowed in here? Sure, I just want to say hi to the boys. Jeez! Great game, fellas. Way to take it up the middle. 
That's how you found the weak side. Nice ass, Billy. Fellas, this is my nephew, Jimmy. Ah! Oh! Good to meet you. Thanks, uh, Dexter. Go on now. <laughs> that all you got, boy. <clears throat> so, we on for Saturday, fellas? Damn straight, Cheech. I told the guys if we made it into the Great Cup, I'd take them all out for dinner. Forget that! You're all coming over to our place! Who's with me? Yeah! <laughs> about to butcher a song by that band you like. Among the many losers in our snake hammer contest, this next one's so awful, it can only be a sign of the coming apocalypse. You're gonna love this. They've been playing it all afternoon. It's a rainy night on the boulevard. I know, the right? Cats getting gutted sound better than this. So kiss my ass. It's not that bad. What are you kidding? It's terror. Oh my God, so this is you. Ass. Don't you. Dare tell anyone that's me. That was Cookie McDougal. Oh. Cookie McDougal, you are a terrible singer. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thanks for fitting us into your busy schedule, Dexter. Hey, man, we play in the CFL. Someone say free food, we come running. And what a running game you guys got. We gonna need it against Toronto. That's a world-class city. How's that? You ever meet someone from Toronto? Within 30 seconds, they tell you they're from a world-class city. New Yorkers have a name for Toronto. Nice try. What's going on, Cook? Stereo's broken. Who wants more six-alarm chili? No, thanks. I'm a vegetarian. Don't worry, this ain't real meat. It's pigeon. <gasps> Did you say pigeon? It's good, huh? I used my senior's discount at the dollar store. North Korea's finest. Oh, Christ. Jimmy, I don't feel so. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Pigeon meat? Oh, I suppose His Majesty would prefer seagull, the rich man's pigeon. <gasps> <gasps> Korea, that's good luck. Saskatchewan's Great Cup dreams took a nightmarish turn today when the entire team fell violently ill. Nothing means anything anymore. I'm going home. Ah! Oh, I'm just supposed to be observing. Can I at least get some powder? <coughs> Football fans are gathered outside Wiscana Hospital on the eve of the Great Cup. Defensive tackle Dexter Mills urged Ryder Nation not to lose faith. Please, let me die. Sources suggest the team got food poisoning at this area home. Oh, wow, that's my house. N near that house where the bloodthirsty mob has gathered. Ah, uh, poor Jimmy can't catch a break. Jesus Christ, Chief! Ow! What the hell? Oh, sorry, Jimmy. I thought you was one of them nut jobs trying to get in. Ah! Ow! Good Lord! Jimmy, Cheech, what the heck? What are you doing in here, McCool? You should be outside getting them lunatics off my sidewalk. Jimmy, if you thought crossing the Mafia was dangerous, wait until Ryder Nation sobers up enough to get their hands on you. Excuse my French, but c'est un gros problème! I got no idea what you just said. Well, get used to it, because that's what you'll be hearing when I put you in double witness protection in Northern Quebec! Ooh, those guys hate Canada as much as we do. <gasps> if we forfeit, you die. Sincerely, the people of Saskatchewan. 
P.S. Sorry about the window. We enclosed a check for the cost of replacement. I think this is for you. No one politely threatens me. <laughs> Make sure he gets his ball back. <laughs> Great catch, Jimmy. <laughs> Great throw, McCool. Great chili cheese. <laughs> McCool, excuse my French, but I ain't f***ing moving to Quebec. Ma, you gotta snap out of this. What? I can't hear ya. I can't hear anything. It's great. Ew, those are Cheech's sex pillows. <laughs> you can't hide here forever. This is the only place I'm safe from that freaking song. And those angry Snake Hammer fans outside. Don't worry, they're just here to kill Pop for wrecking the gay cup. My oh, that I song! I Teresa, have a heart. Runny. Put it on vibrate. I'm and a miss a call? Uh, Ma! Uh, calm down! <gasps> oh, crap. <laughs> nice shirts. I got a truckload of them. What's your size? <laughs> Cheech and I assembled a team to take the rightest spot in a great cup. <laughs> yes, of course you have. Very good. You do tickle my funny bone, Jimmy. I'm serious. This is the only chance we got to get people on our side. And to keep them from crapping in our mailbox. That's my toilet. <laughs> You'll be slaughtered. Like Cookie slaughtered that song on the radio. The alternative is we throw Cheech to the fans and they rip them to pieces. It's good to have options. Primero O'Shea's playing slot back. Mayor Schwashwa's tight end. There's one spot left to film a cool. And it's gotta be you. With your arm and my smarts, we can't lose. Would that I could, but I cannot. I once had a promising football career, but that was all before the injury. <laughs> a concussion so severe, for weeks I thought I was a late night talk show sidekick. So this football player walks into a bar. Ouch! Hey, yo! Who's with me? I'm sorry, gentlemen. I cannot risk another concussion to help you in this ludicrous endeavor. Fine, we'll do it without you. I'll be damned if the Grey Cup gets canceled on my watch. Give me a grand on the Argos. What do you mean, no? Screw you, Gina! Despite unseasonably warm minus 35 temperatures, the stands at Grey Cup are empty. Regina will be out to forfeit momentarily, so I will have the evening free. Ladies, wait! A group of middle-aged men posing as the Rough Riders are taking the field. And here come the Toronto Argonauts. World class city! World class city! World class city! World class city! Bet you wish you ate my chili now. Oh boy, my dad is screwed. Okay, so they're big. Does that make them better than us? Yes. So they're pro athletes. Does that make them better than us? Yes. So they're highly skilled. Hang on, let me rethink this. But I knew most of the answers. When you guys are out there getting pulverized, I want you to remember what we're playing for. Endorsement deals? Right of pride! We're not gonna stand by and be the first team to ever forfeit a Grey Cup! Who's with me? <laughs> Bit of a mixed message, but I'll take it! Hey, lady, what you do with my mother? I am your mother, Gina, and it's time I started acting like it. Is this about that horrible song, Ma? Because if it is, you're overreacting. Snake Hammer was fine when I was in my teens, but I'm a grown-up lady now, and you know what it says in the Bible. Oh, oh, wait, I noticed. Uh, Jesus throws a big dinner party? Yeah, and one of the Jonas brothers betrays him for 30 peanuts of silver. No, it says you have to put away childish things, like rock albums and hopes and dreams, and you two are so going to Bible camp. Ma, you think you're a failure, but you've gone viral. That was 20 years ago, and penicillin took care of it. No, no, like that video of the toddler with the shotgun, or the girl who plays trumpet with her butt. Flattering as that is, I think I'm gonna stick to being an adult from now on. No more snake hammer. Oh my God, is he copperhead from snake hammer? 
I'm looking for the chick who mangled our song. Here she is. World class city! Uh, <laughs> okay, so far so good. It's our ball and nobody's dead. Come on, Jimmy, let me be quarterback. Shut up, I'm quarterback. But I got this play worked out. It's a sure thing. Never see it coming. Let's keep that one in our back pockets for later. Yeah! Yeah! You weren't going to start this party without me, were you? What changed your mind? You did, Jimmy. You stood tall while others kneeled in front of the toilet, yakking their guts out. Come here, you crazy son of a bitch. If you guys are done choking each other's chickens, we got some football to play. Your call, McCool. Fast and loose on two. You okay, McCool? Is your conditioner making you impotent? Find out after the break. This Rider B Squad sure has heart. In fact, I see one of their hearts on the field now. And an Argo player just ate it. There's a hearty meal, am I right? You're not supposed to be up here. Terrific. Lucky we still got this guy, the only Rough Rider you didn't almost kill with your chili. Cause he's a vegetable. You mean vegetarian. Hi. <laughs> now he's a vegetable. At the half, the stadium appears to be filling up as fans get behind this ragtag bunch. Or maybe they're just here for Snake Hammer. I hear the lead singer had a few too many backstage. He got snake hammered. Is this thing on? <laughs> Sometimes in life, you take a few knocks, but you gotta get back up and give what you got. This little lady right here took a beat and didn't let it get her down. Put your hands together for Cookie! What's her name? Ever her name? Ow! Who's laughing now, you jagoffs? Hit it, boys! It's a rainy night on the boulevard. My socks are squishy, my life is hard. My nose is runny, but I'm a fighter. Kiss my ass and raise your life. Good for you, Cook. Good for you. <laughs> We're done, Jimmy. It's time to throw in the towel. I'll do it. Just show me where they keep the towels. You want to give up? Lie down and die like stinking dogs? No, I just want to go home. Why are you going to make us sound so ugly? Those people out there are starting to believe in us. We give up now. We're giving up on them and ourselves. And all the kids who dream of playing in a league full of guys who couldn't cut it in the NFL. Those Argo nutsacks got you believing that you ain't good enough. That you ain't world class. Well, I say they're wrong. And if you agree with me, I'll see you on the field. Who's with me? So, we going for ribs or what? <sighs> and we're back for the second half. Wow, my mom performed at halftime. My dad's on the team. Which one'd you blow to get this job? Hey! Pay yourself. Give me something I can use. I'm dying here. Jimmy! Cheech! My speech worked? God, no. You're my right home. Let's hit him where it hurts. It's time to get in their heads. How do we do that? Tiny submarine? World-class city! No. 
Here's what we're gonna do. Yo, number 10! It's the NFL calling for you. Really? Nah, of course not, you suck. <laughs> hey! <Huh? laughs> so, when's the last time Toronto hosted the Olympics? Well, never, but we had the Pan Am Games. Hey! Pan Am Games? That's cute. Two subway lines? You're about as world class as Cleveland. Hey! hey. <laughs> This gutsy performance has brought Rider Nation back. It doesn't get more exciting than this. I am so hard right now. Hey, world-class sh**. Is the CN Tower still the tallest building in the world? Well, no, but... I'm feeling something, Cheech. Something I ain't felt since we moved up here. Internal bleeding? No, it's pride. All right. Let's finish this. Hey, nuts! How many years since the Leafs won the cup? Oh. <laughs> Shouldn't someone tell them we lost? Sure, we lost, but look at Toronto. They're miserable. World class city! World class city! Come on, guys! World class city! Shut up, Doug. But Jimmy. We still lost the game. So what? It's a, what do you call it? Moral victory. But we lost. It's not about winning or losing. It's how you play the game. Oh, God. You're one of them. You turned Canadian. <gasps> no! Don't forget, tonight's game will be followed by the second and final episode of Two Men and Half a Dog. I love that show. Saskatchewan, la 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 Greetings, friends and potential bullies. Before Pop bravely tattled on the mob, there was a time when he had to go what wise fellas and good guys refer to as straight. Why are you crying? I just got this hard-ass parole officer who's <laughs> making me get a regular job! <laughs> That's for getting pinched in the first place. Once Pop's shattered testes healed, he was well on his way to rehabilitation. Give me two abortions in a basket, double tap and bloody rye toast. Coming right up! First National's got a payroll coming in. You know what to do. Confused, Pop. I understand why you work here, but why does Cheech? The guy likes eggs. What do you want from me? Okay, but Uncle Aldo also works here, and Uncle Sammy, Tootie Marcone, and isn't that Don Gambini delivering milk? <gasps> Petey, shut up. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were still running your organization under the very nose of the New York parole system. Kid, I'm on the straight and narrow. Just trust me, will ya? You once said that trust me was gangster talk for f you. Oh, if my suspicions prove true, I will be very disappointed, Pop. Very disappointed. Thanks for waiting till my kid left. All right, hands up! This is a bust! I had to do another 18 months because of your big mouth. Now that we live in Regina, Pop works a legitimate job every day, and I've never been prouder of him. <laughs> That's for being a rat, which reminds me. <laughs> if you think I'm ever gonna forgive you for that, forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Petey, I know what's going on in there, and it sure ain't clean. Your son's in there, pile driving his crotch into a coma. Bust the door down! Why would you want to see that? Oh, oh my God! Pull him up! He must have fainted from shame. <laughs> what the hell? 
Between you and me, jerk Cousteau, that is not how you masturbate. So what the heck is an Ocean Lab 6? It's a three-month undersea education program I was accepted to, but it's prohibitively expensive. I was underwater so no one would see my tears. When it comes to my kids, there's no such thing as prohibitionally expensive. How much we talking? Whoa, yeah, that ain't happening. I've never had to say this in my life, but I can't afford that. Nice going. Now your father's drowning his sorrows in hot sauce, you selfish little prick. Leave him alone. It's not his fault I'm a worker day schmuck who can't afford underwater nerd school. <sighs> On top of that, I went and ruined my breakfast. I can help with one of them problems. I used to make this for Don Gambini. The man was a notorious overspicer. He'd cover his cannelloni in pepper flakes, and then he'd piss and moan about how hot it was. And when he pissed and moaned, chefs lost their thumbs. Holy crap, these taste like eggs again. The spice is gone. Like I said behind the Don's back, you're welcome, you whiny bitch. I think you got the solution to your money problem right there. Cookie's right. We could use this to extort every Indian restaurant in town. Pay up, or the Vindaloo gets it. Haven't you idiots figured out there's legal ways to make a buck? Course not. Luckily, I have. Now, let's go take the spice out of life. I thought your family could afford Ocean Lab. Teresa's always got so much expensive clothes and jewelry. She gets those from men I'm not supposed to tell my parents about. My family's taking me camping this weekend to cheer me up. Hey, do you want to come along? Maybe we could comfort each other in our time of mutual disappointment? I literally have no experience in this area, so I'm just gonna ask. Are you coming on to me? <laughs> no, silly. Why would I do that? What are you even talking about? Yes! Well then, I'd love to go camping. In fact, I've already pitched my tent. <laughs> Welcome to Scorpion's Hive, the publicly funded show that provides investment opportunities for private venture capitalists. Yay! Has this ever happened to you? Oh no, I overspiced my food. It's burning a hole in my tongue. Jimmy, you're supposed to be at work. Agnes, get back to the office, quick. What if someone needs a map? Hey lady, them spices hot enough? For use? My name is Neutralizer, and I'm here to say I'm gonna take all the spice from your spices away. Spice it, yeah. Spice it down. Oh, God, stop it. <laughs> Ming's right. Just tell us about the product so we can rip your new one. It's Spice Neutralizer. You sprinkle it on overly spicy food, and it kills the heat but not the taste. Who's your target market? Munja cake white people who can't handle a little pepper. What are your sales figure? Hey, wasn't I married to you once? You look terrible, Cheech. Oh, man, I walk out on you. You bad man. What's your business plan? To make a crap ton of money and send my kid to space. I import knockoff yoga pants, Belgium video game, and spices. I'm out. Bad idea. As an Irish-Canadian, I wasn't even aware food could be spicy. I'm out. I like this idea, but I don't want to invest in it. I prefer to license it from you. What's that mean? It means I do all the work, assume all the risk, pay you half the profits, and you do nothing. You've always wanted to do nothing, Jimmy. Hold out for less than nothing. Are you serious, Pop? You got the money? Yep. Looks like you are going to be sleeping with the fishes. I know you didn't mean that the usual way, but I still peed my pants a little. What am I going to tell Anna? She invited me camping so we could forget our Ocean Lab disappointment. Could you just enjoy something for once? What she don't know won't hurt her. Howdy, sir. I'm Ron, Anna's dad. This is my wife, Bathsheba. I hope you're up for a rollicking kick in the pants adventure in the wilds of Saskatchewan, Petey. <laughs> And don't worry, I'll see there's no hanky or panky between these kids. We'll keep things as chaste and pure as our Lord Jesus. I'd say have fun, but that's clearly off the table. 
Bathsheba, stop staring at the man like a harlot. Okay, let's hit the road. Thanks for coming, Petey. I need at least eight inches between you two back here. Move your keister over, son. Let's pass the time with music. Oh, we're going to the mansion on the Happy Day Express. And the letters on the engine are J-E-S-U-S. <laughs> what do you mean you lost the spice neutralizer recipe? Wheat Din's gonna be here any minute. Just write it down again. I would, but I can't remember it. I only got so much room up here. I can't rememberize the whole recipe and the names of all the hobbits. Ah, crap, that's Wheat Din. Maybe it's in my other pants. You don't have other pants. Okay, okay. I'll scratch other pants off the list. But that is a lot of zeros. Let's count them again. One. Two. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were stalling me for some reason. He's on to us. Forget it! Okay, look. Cheech lost the formula. We'll find it, we just need time. But I've already bought factories and hired sweatshop workers. Spice Neutralizer launches next week. I'm having several Spice Girls neutralized to mark the occasion. Touch Ginger and I'll cut ya. You have till Monday to produce that formula. Otherwise, I'll have to sue you for misrepresentation. Sorry, Jimmy. It's nothing personal, just business. You can't say that! That's my people saying! How does he do that? Cheech, if you don't remember that formula, Wheat Thin's gonna take us for everything we got. I got this, Jimmy. Trust me. Do you mean trust me, trust me, or f you trust me? The nice one. Cheech didn't lose it. Someone stole it. And I bet it was that Ming broad from Scorpion's Hive. That's classy. Blame the Asian. It's got nothing to do with being Asian. And everything to do with being Cheech's ex-wife. How much more motive does she need? She's right. You know what they say? Hell hath no flurry like a woman's corns. Are we still in Canada? I don't see this campground anywhere on the map. If you're not on the map, the government can't find you and forcibly re-educate you with the lies of the Antichrist. I see. I'm just gonna retire to my tent for the rest of the weekend. Oh, we don't use tents. We're sleeping in old Archie Bunker here. Do me a favor, son. Take that bag of automatic weapons from the roof rack inside. <laughs> you don't mind if I call you son, do you? We're facing Armageddon together. That makes us family. Uh, what? I'll go set up a perimeter. Oh, darn, I forgot the razor wire. Oh, well, we'll have to rely on prayers and homemade frag mines to keep Satan away. Anna, I'm trying very hard not to freak out, but have I been kidnapped? Sorry. <laughs> Every few months, Mom and Dad drag me out here to wait for the end times. I couldn't face another rapture fail without someone rational to talk to. So you picked me? Oh, that's just great. <gasps> wait. You think I'm rational? That's the hottest thing a girl's ever said to me. Petey, you're downright logical. Ah. And don't worry about my family. They're nutty, but harmless. Petey, the Bible says it's an abomination for a man to lie with another man, so you can't sleep with me in the men's quarters. <laughs> Thankfully, it says nothing about black market assault rifles. <laughs> anyway, you'll be bunking with Anna. What a friend we have! In Jesus. All right, me and Jimmy will muscle that formula away from Ming. You gals go home and sync up your cycles. We're not sending two goons in to intimidate a small boned lady. It needs a woman's touch. Give me the formula, Toots, or I'll rip your freaking lips off. Jesus, Ma! What the hell, big crazy bitch talking about? I'm talking Russian roulette with an automatic, unless you start singing. Oh, Ma, where the hell you been all my life? The formula's gotta be stashed around here someplace. She comes from a very crafty culture. Isn't that a little racist, Cheech? Talk to me when you've spent three weeks in a Chinese finger trap. Oh, God, that's strong. I feel like I've been maced. Nah, mace feels worse than this. See? Ow! Oh, damn it, Cheech! What the hell is wrong with you? I'm trying to illustrate a point. Ow! Daddy! <laughs> oh, my eyes! Still not as bad as mace, but... Oh!
Finish up those K rations, kids. They'll keep for 600 years, but they do get stale. How's that filtered urine, Petey? <laughs> ha! Someone just volunteered for first watch tonight. Petey, if anyone tries to get in, shoot first and beg the Lord's forgiveness later. <laughs> That's a joke. You won't need forgiveness for slaughtering whatever unholy abomination comes knocking. Oops, forgot the urine filter. I know this isn't what you expected, Petey, but once Mom and Dad go to sleep, maybe we can... Have a fumbling session of heavy commiserating about Ocean Lab? Very heavy and very fumbling. Oh, God, you talk so sexy. Oh, there's plenty more inexperienced innuendo where that came from. Oh, no! You shot the urine filter! <laughs> I'm telling you, O'Shea did it. That leprechaun always whines about not making enough money from the TV show. All right, thanks, Ming. Sorry I pointed a gun at your head. Oh, that's nothing compared to Canadian immigration. Oh! Oh! Teresa did it. That's just great. Now she's suing us, too. Way to go, Cheech. How is this in any way my fault? Going on that crazy TV show was Cookie's idea. Don't blame me, you sack of shit. Guys, guys, calm down. We all know this is Petey's fault. No, it's Mom Pops for having a brainiac for a son. Yeah, if he was a moron like the rest of us, this would've never happened. I ah, screw you guys. I'm gonna go talk to O'Shea myself. Unlike you idiots, I know how to get things done. You're supposed to blow up the other guy's car, is to get things done. I'm telling you, Mokul, O'Shea's behind this. Are you suggesting the Premiere is embroiled in some sort of spice neutralizer conspiracy? That's preposterous. So you're not gonna help us? Au contraire, Jimmy. I'll see this through to the end. My first step? Spending nine hours on hold with your government-sponsored insurance company. For Canada, where no-fault liability means everyone gets screwed equally! The jig's up, O'Shea. We know about your problems with Scorpion's Hive. How'd you find out? Let's just say... Ming told us. She knows? After she swore I didn't talk in my sleep? You slept with my wife? Ah, we only cuddled with me penis in her. Son of a bitch! Who gives a sh? You were married three days! I've only had this shirt three days. I still don't want him sticking his dick in it. Now give us what we want, O'Shea. Security, get in here. I've got some trash to take out. Oh, right, I'll crack a window. There's something I should tell you. My pop got enough money together to send me to Ocean Lab. <gasps> I thought we were sharing our mutual sorrows. But you were just practicing holding your breath. It's not like that, Anna. I just didn't know how to tell you. Dad warned me about privileged rich boys who try to take advantage of innocent girls. Try? No. Did? Yes. <laughs> but I like you, Anna. Yay! It's finally the apocalypse! That or it's a roving band of liberals seeking to feast on our Bibles and unborn babies. Don't be afraid to kill anyone, Petey. The Bible says it's okay more often than not. Play the numbers, son. Always play the numbers. You were right, Dad! Oh, Lord! Forgive me for tongue-kissing this heretic! <laughs> Wake up! Uh, I thought I told you girls to stay home. Aren't you glad we don't listen to you very often? Teresa followed O'Shea! He's meeting with buyers! Come on! Whoa! One more step and I get a free coffee! Everything's coming up cheech! I'll have to see the money before I can commit to anything, you cheap sleazy bastards. 
Oh, that's where my flashlight went. Not so fast, O'Shea. You're too late, you jackasses. It's done. You can't sell stolen property. <laughs> oh, God, listen to me. Yeah, right. <laughs> and violence never sold anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting weird. The deal's off. Now look what you did. You blew me chances. Screw you, O'Shea. That spice neutralizer recipe belongs to us. What the hell are you talking about, you giant bloody festering tit? I was about to sign a deal with a rival network for me own investment show, Piranha Creek. I thought you was trying to extort me. For what? If Scorpion's Hive found out about Piranha Creek before I jump ship, they'd gnaw the flesh off the deal's meaty bones. Wait, which one of you is the piranha? It's Canadian television, Jimmy. We all are. Oh, Christ. Now I'm stuck on that low paying show. Hey, would you look at that? <laughs> look at that indeed. Tabby's mom is looking pretty fine. How do you like that, Petey? The Gupta family here was under the impression the age of Kali Yuga was ending. That's the Hindu apocalypse. Between you and me, these kooks put the mental in fundamental. Everyone knows the end of times is a Christian Armageddon. Sorry about the gunshot wound, Mr. Gupta. That's the thing with timeshare apocalypse bunkers. <laughs> They're affordable, but the scheduling's a pain in the rump. <laughs> I'll go take down the perimeter. I'm glad no one stepped on a frag mine. That could have been very messy. <laughs> Lucky I'm good at digging mass graves. Please, God, tell me that was a joke. It won't be one day. Anna, listen, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about Ocean Lab. And I'm sorry I called you a heretic. So, will I see you at school? No. Mom saw us making out, and now she wants to send me away until the baby comes. What? I know. But guess where they're sending me? I'm okay! A mine went off! Arm seems to be gone! If I pass out before we reach the hospital, be sure to refuse a transfusion! <laughs> Going somewhere, Toby? <laughs> You've come for vengeance! Make it quick! Not the face! Open casket! Who's gonna rub Mother's feet? Calm down! Pull yourself together! Thank you, Jimmy. I deserve that. A and probably that, too. Now you're just doing it for fun! Stop it, Jimmy! It's my time! Ow! You Ow! stole my yeah. formula, didn't you? Yes. At the TV studio. I knew Jimmy would quit Regina Tourism once he got rich. <laughs> I couldn't face work without my best friend in the whole wide world. <laughs> Who? Me? But I had a change of heart and left the recipe in your car. Mom insisted on coming with me. It was too late to put out the fire, so I grabbed Mom, stopped, dropped, and rolled her, and we took off. But you saved the recipe, right? No, it went up with your car. Ah, great, I'm screwed. Thanks a lot, you stupid son of a bitch. Lucky it's easy to remember. Baking soda, flour, vanilla extract, and... A dash of cumin. I don't know why that was so hard to remember, Cheech. Oh, yeah? Go on, ask me. Which one's Frodo? I have your brand new SUV courtesy of Saskatchewan Government Insurance. <gasps> Canada's worst driver. I must have left it in gear. Put on a pot of coffee, Cookie. I'm going back on hold. Yo, Cook, I got Petey on Skype. I hate it here. I've been seasick for three weeks. Don't worry, Mr. and Mrs. McDougal. I'll take care of him. I hope you kids are being good down there under the sea. Well, Mrs. McDougal, I won't lie to you. Ah, getting screwed in a submarine. It's like he's in the Navy for real. La 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 la
la la la Saskatchewan, la 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 the ancient Italian code of silence known as Omerta required us to keep our mouths shut. It all started back in Sicily, where the mob made an example of anyone who opened their mouth. Like this guy. All he did was ask a cop for directions. After that, no one ever talked to the cops. In fact, no one ever talked to anyone, just to be on the safe side. Even if my great-grandpa's <gasps> pants were on fire, he still would have kept his mouth shut. Hell of a guy. The whole village grinded to a halt. They had to come up with some way to communicate. Why Italians talk with their hands. Because of Omerta? I don't think that's true, Pop. Oh, yeah? Ow! You know what that means? Or did I stutter? Uh, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds The feds say they heard that they could use him as a pawn So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan Forget about it Forget about it Forget about it Oh, forget about it This corset's so tight my boobs are coming out my back why are we here? I gotta support my boss's side business, because he supports my Wednesdays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays off. Dinner where someone gets whacked. It's like I'm back home, except I'm dressed like an asshole. Oh, no! Someone shoot him, Rancher Dan! Ooh, the cavalry's here, albeit unscripted. Roll with it, everyone! Don't mind me, I'm just here to see. Buffalo, jump, Toby, you can't wear that. I can't even wear that. Jimmy, I'm afraid I have some pressing news. Great! Tell us at home! Let's go! Yeah! For Canada, where white people still think wearing these is okay! Oh, dances with horse make big I'm angry. Run many paces. Am I right, guys? Oh. All right, McCool, so what's this news? There's no easy way to say this. Oh, crap, we're moving again. Who'd you rat out this time, hop along sack of shit? I, for one, welcome a fresh start. That's because you got caught in class with a sleep boner. It's your grandmother in Sicily. No! I'm afraid she's dying. No! Why, God, why? <laughs> that woman is insane. Roll out the fluffy red carpet, Jesus. Angel coming. Take me instead, Lord. No, take me! Take them both, God! Please! I know your pain. I was absent when my own dear grandmother passed. They say she shrieked my name as the grizzly bear tore into her. <laughs> when I heard about your Nona, I resolved to bring her here for a final farewell. <laughs> yeah. Are you out of your freaking mind? I don't want to see her. I hate that. Bitch. She's the whole reason I had an eating disorder. <laughs> I don't understand. You were all so upset when I said she was dying. She's family. You gotta make a big show in case God and all the neighbors are watching. But if she finds out we rat it on the mob... Yeah, we. <laughs> don't worry. Nona's practically comatose. She'll have no idea where she is. I'm not taking that chance. We gotta be ready to make her think it's the old life. No witness protection, no cops, nothing's changed. That might be tricky. She lands in two hours. <gasps> I'm coming, Jesus! All 
All right, one more time. <gasps> Forget it about it. What the hell's wrong with you? Sorry, I'm nervous. You heard me say it like a million times. <laughs> it's here. See, what did I tell you? Shh. Jimmy? Uh, that's right, Nona. It's Jimmy. Winnipeg Jets, she's up! That means you're up, Serpico. Make it good. Forget about it, and uh, uh... So, Jimmy, I see you bring a the whore. Hello, Nona. And uh, the crybaby. <laughs> Santa Lucia, don't feed uh, this one after midnight. And here's uh, the fat one. Hi, Nona. It's nice to see. <laughs> Maroon! The eat of the leaves! Evening, Nona. You're looking lovely. Okay, Nona. Good to see you. Let's get this visit over with. Hey, wait for your cousin. What cousin? What cousin? Says the porky pig. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Apronia, come meet Dante's Inferno. You know that's your cousin, right? Technically not. I'm a McDougal. Too bad. It's way hotter if she's your cousin. Okay, let's get you home, Nona. You must be tired. Tired of your face. We no go home. I want to see Statue of Liberty. Uh, Nona, obviously we're in, uh, New York, which we are, but, uh, Statue of Liberty's a tall order. Why? This is a city that never sleep. I never take a bath. Oh, we go. You idiot! Apologize to Nona, like the stinking dog that you are. Hey oh, bada booba! Ha <laughs> ha! reels a sorry there, Nona Malona. Jesus Christ! I don't know why, but I like you. Now take me to Lady Liberty. How you doing, Paisan? I'm Cheech. She look. Smaller? Yeah, uh, budget cuts. Thanks a lot, Obama. We go. Ah, oh, America is so romantic. It sure is. We invented drive through wedding chapels. So, Pietro, you have a sweetheart? No, I just haven't met the right cousin. Girl, I mean girl. <laughs> <laughs> You know that's your cousin's ass you're groping. Ah! Would you stop reminding me? Houses are small. Business bad, Jimmy. No, uh, the mansion's being renovated. This is Petey's house. <laughs> is a Petey in a family business? Yeah, yeah. He's a chip off the old block. Petey, show Apollonia to a room. Don't tell me what to do in my own house! Do you believe this bitch? No, no. I made eggplant palm just for you. You hungry? Eggplant? No, no, thought you just put cheese on a dirty sock. Uh, <laughs> this'll be your room. Huh, <laughs> plastic sheets. It's not what you think. I'm just a bedwetter. In the village, I always dream of America. Now I am here with handsome cousin, like a dream come true. If dreams came true, I'd be your handsome cuz. Oh, wait! Pietro, will you show Apollonia big banana? Banana? Well, it's kind of yellow and curves left. Oh, you mean the big apple! <laughs> I thought you meant my penis. Whoa, that's the first time I've ever said penis in front of a girl. You don't know what I'm saying, do you? Penis, 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 penis. I like you. Old hag wouldn't know good eggplant palm if it smothered her in her sleep with my favorite pillow. No, no, just because she spat it back onto her plate doesn't mean she didn't like it. Jimmy, I think if she finds out, she won't tattle. She's family. 
She's Sicilian! We broke Omerta, that sh runs deeper than blood! I smell the rat. <gasps> oh no, that's the whore's excuse for cooking. Where's all of your friends, Big Sheet? It's Big Shot. I know what I say. No friends to pay respect to Nolma. Something not a right here. Put her in a bath, drop in a toast, about a boom, pine box back to Italy. If she's onto us, we gotta send her back right now. If we send her back, she'll know we're onto her being onto us. Gina, run a bath. I'll get the toast. <laughs> oh, eggplant parm. So, you want a way out of this? I know just the guy to talk to. Who? I said. Who's that now? You know who I mean. It's. Thank you. Ah, I said Timmy. Who's Timmy? You know, your friend there, Geronimo. Toby? That's the guy, Tony. <laughs> oh, Gina, you're gross. Still tastes better than that fucking eggplant. Your mystery dinner murder theater, Tippy. Toby, as long as it starts with a T. Shut up, Robbie. It's gotta be a New York gangster theme. Ooh, I love gangster stories. New Jack City, Boys in the Hood, the Goonies. What Goonies? I'm talking a mafia. Cheech, this is not a good idea. How dare you come into my nephew's house and disrespect me like this? I go to kitchen, I mind my business. You see, Taco, that's the kind of authenticity we're looking for. Don't you worry. Authenticity is our new middle name at the Eastside Authenticity Players. Eastside Toby, this fighting's gone on too long. We gotta bring the families together, end the bloodshed, and eat some pasta! Blood is shed, uh, macaroni, mamma mia, Abba's the best. That's insulting and kind of racist, but you got the job. Oh, Jimmy, you won't be disappointed. That's not true, but whatever. Don't moosh this up. The only thing I'll be mooshing are the Italian peas. I think I want to kill him already. That's good. Use that. <laughs> Aw, did you come running to me because you're scared of the thunder? No, I come because you scared of a thunder. Thank you. Mm, I like you. I like you too, Apollonia, but we're cousins. Cousins. It's just a word. But it's forbidden, except in Kentucky and parts of Manitoba. What about Regina? You know we're not in New York? Yes. I no understand, but I no care. i uh, sorry. I cannot. I know, it's wrong, but it feels so right. What can we do? Ah! I get the new sheets. And pajama bottoms. Hey, everybody, look. It's Jimmy Spaghetti and the Spaghetti family. And you brought the little meatball. Ooh, she looks mad. Toby, I told you to call us the Falcone family. It's very important. I thought about it, Jimmy, but Falcone is just too on the nose. Are you kidding me? Jimmy, you're Scottish. I worked in Italy, Ceramic Tile Bazaar, for three years. I know a thing or two about the land of grout and marble. Get those cotton balls out of your mouth. You look like an idiot. But that's what Marlon Brando used in his portrayal of the... Brando's not even Italian. And for the record, neither is Bratwurst. And why is there a Mexican flag up there? <laughs> Jimmy, we're walking a tightrope here, and it's windy. Careful not to blow your cover. Which cover? That I'm a gangster or I'm not a gangster? I don't know. My mind's racing to keep up. Machu Picchu! Seriously, it's way better if you don't talk. 
Jimmy, this is all terrible. Nana's not gonna buy it. Oh, is that Al Pacino? I'm gonna get an autograph. Hey, Jimmy Spaghetti with the great big belly. Eat! You want more ranch dip for your pizza bagels? Look at that Larry Linguini! Who let such a snake into this gathering of honorable men? Toss him out with the rest of the garbage! Wink, wink, I hope you're enjoying the show! Of respect? Show of respect, right, Nona? I go to the ladies' room and drop, how you say, uh, cookies, eggplant, parmesan. I think she's buying it. We're gonna be okay. We're more than okay. I'm Facebook friends with Pacino! Hey, everyone! We just got married! What? <gasps> and someone killed Larry Linguini! <gasps> My baby boy's married to his freaking cousin. We have to abort. I agree. I do not want a two-headed cousin baby running around. No, Jimmy, the mission. First, we gotta break up this marriage before Nona finds out and tells half of Sicily that Apollonia married Petey Falco. By the way, Jimmy, my congratulations. Little something for the happy couple. Aw, you shouldn't have. Will you forget about that? Just go keep Nona in the bathroom. Cook, you scare some sense into Apollonia. I'll go beat the shit out of Petey. Look, I know in the old country, people marry the cousins all the time. But you don't want to be married to a pimply chronic masturbator. Plus, look at you and look at him. You're so beautiful. And he's... he's... Uh, handsome? A strong? What are you, a crackhead? The guy's a loser! What is a loser? A gavone, an idiot, a bonehead! I have to love him, but you got a choice. Ah, see, see. Oh, one a second. Don't you disrespect to my husband! Ow! Oh, hey! What? Just making sure he's sharp. Hey, and a Nona! The big boss says you gotta stay in the washroom, uh, cause a Larry Linguini's killer is still running around. Bada bada bingo! Such a nice boy. Shut up your face. Sulfur Mountain, that is unholy. I know you're disappointed you weren't at the ceremony, but our love just couldn't wait. I don't give a crap about your ceremony. She's your cousin! You bang him. You don't marry him. What is this? Kentucky? No, it's Regina. And guess what? My wife knows, and she doesn't care. You told her this ain't New York? Are you nuts? Oh, God, I gotta talk to Cookie. Cheech, keep Petey away from Apollonia. You can't keep us apart. We're family now. Again. Still. You know, I'm starting to like this chick. I think she really loves my boy. Welcome to the family. She was already in the family. Don't ruin this, Gina. Hey, Jimmy Spaghetti, I need uh, to talk to you. Not now, Toby. How dare you disrespect me at the wedding of your son to my daughter? What'd he say? Nothing. Kiss me. Daughter, what the fuck are you talking about? The wedding threw me off. I had to improvise, which is why we're now called the Eastside Authenticity Improvisational Players. Another domain name I have to check. Never mind the wedding. But this union will bring our families together. What the wedding? If your boy hurts a my girl, I'll kill you, Jimmy. Please, adieu. Why you want to be married? Look at me. I'm free as a bird. I got my options open. Sky's the limit. You live alone in a basement. Never let it go. You hear me? Never let it go. And name your firstborn after me. I don't care how many heads it's got. Excuse me, everyone. I've always said there's nothing more important than family. And apparently my son agrees with a vengeance. So it's my honor to announce the first dance between Petey... Cookie, no! ...and his beautiful and surprisingly stabby bride, Apollonia. Oh, dear God. 
Let's do this, Nona. Stop right there, Petey Spaghetti. You thought you fooled us with this elaborate and unscripted wedding. Well, you didn't. You murdered Larry Linguini. <gasps> Baloney on the married to some monster. This family bring a shame to me. Crime, murder, but no more. No, no, calm down, please. <laughs> Cosa nostra. No, no, stop! I'm not in the mob anymore. I ratted out my old bosses and now I'm in witness protection in Canada. <laughs> <gasps> Is it true, Jimmy? Is it true, Nona? I'm just a civilian now, a schnook. Nona, so happy. Thank you, Jesus. Finally, Jimmy, see the light. Your cover's blown. I'll have you inside the Arctic Circle by morning. That's further north, isn't it? Jimmy, that's so far north, Cheech will probably bang Santa's wife. <sighs> Oh, Jimmy, quick! Jimmy McDougal, everybody! Brought to you by the Eastside Authenticity Improvisational Surprise Ending Players! Bravo! 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 Yeah! So, Nona, you're not mad? No, Jimmy. For once, I'm proud of you. But I betrayed Omerta. I don't care about Omerta. It's just a big, stupid stereotype about Sicilians. Now I'm gonna go and make a nice pizza pie! <laughs> Does this mean Apollonia and I have your blessing? No! Apollonia no marry the monster! Who kill a Larry Linguini! La 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 la